Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and as you can see, we're right back at where we left off. Um, this is the Protestant Reformation. Uh, we're back in you know, Florence in our uh, Let's Play, going for the uh, Pax Romana, and part of that will be uh, uh, getting out front of the Catholic foot, I believe. Um, the Protestant Reformation has happened in Oldenburg this time, so we are right up north here. Where's Oldenburg? Oldenburg, Oldenburg, Oldenburg. That is part of Oldenburg. There's the province of Oldenburg. Uh, Reformation happened up there. We can go ahead and hit the uh, religious button there. Now, so basically what happens, uh, for those of you who are new to EU4 and haven't experienced the uh, Protestant Reformation in Europe in this game, uh, somewhere around 1510 to 1520 usually it happens, and uh, I did a bit of double checking to make sure my numbers are right. It's based on the reform desire. Now, all Catholic Church's activities affect this desire, and it basically climbs and climbs over the uh, late 1400s into the early 1500s. Once it hits 95, it has a 95%, it has a technical possibility of happening, and that percentage chance of it happening climbs uh, as the percentage rises. So different activities you do as a player that have that add reform desire can affect it or take away from reform desire but any catholic leader that does anything that affects reform desire will all stack up as one when that happens man do we really have we have four cardinals four cardinals and we're gonna lose all those cardinals we have uh, zero zero papacy uh, effect because we have a negative 10 for statute of restraint of appeal and occupation of rome they don't like that apparently um, but now we have an opportunity to change things up big time. So three of these uh, uh, centers of reformation can form. Uh, one automatically forms in the location that it happened. So thoughts of disapproval against the Roman Catholic the Roman Catholic Church are spreading across Europe as a result of the increasing corruption of monks and clerics. Voices are raised questioning the current principles and, and greed of the church. A monk in Oldenburg. I don't think it happened in Oldenburg in the real world, uh, has for some time expressed deep concerns and is now openly declaring his discontent with the church, paving the way toward a reformation of the faith. So Oldenburg is now a new religion, which is... Oh, they're Catholic still, apparently. It hasn't happened officially. In the, the, the country hasn't um, accepted it. as Normally when it's a one province minor that it happens, which is quite often in, Europe, in Northern Europe, uh, Germanic one province miners often start it. Um, Oldenburg has three provinces apparently. Uh, so it's a little better, I think, because the stronger the Reformation countries are, the better in my opinion. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, Protestantism is enabled here. The religion of Oldenburg changes the Protestant. Oh, I just haven't hit the button. And Oldenburg gets a center of Reformation. Uh, religious zeal happens anytime a religion is changed from its original. Uh, local strength of of uh, religions changes there. Now, did they switch? No, they don't automatically switch. Uh, but what happens now is every every uh, one of these fo that form, there's one there for free. The next two places that embrace Reformation, uh, embrace the Reformation, that switch to Protestant faith, any Catholic can do it on the whim. And when they switch to Protestant, uh, they if they're the first next two to do it, they'll get a uh, center of religious pro um, of Protestant religion. So what happens there is this basically will perpetually try in to uh, to change the religion of its neighbors. And this right here is usually faster even than uh, a really good missionary. And the Protestant, uh, where is it? Does it show it here? Yeah, religion. Uh, getting converted Protestant because of proximity of a center of reformation. The progress in the, is currently 6%. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, it's adjacent to a reformation, so it'll change really quickly. That will basically spread Protestantism nearby, and then it starts cherry-picking randomly other provinces that are Catholic or reformed to change them. So, we have an option here. If we want, we can change religions. And we just simply go in here and hit the convert and become Protestant. The center of reformation could appear in a European province. Well, it will if we're the next ones to convert. Protestant becomes the new state religion of Florence. Lose 100 prestige. Oops. Um, the restraint of appeal removed. And the Comberndo Act 
Horatio Converno Act will be removed because those are both Catholic exclusives. We gain 883 uh, ducats, a center of reformation peers in a European province. I'm pretty sure that's actually in one of my provinces that is European. Florence gets uh, religious zeal. And missionary strength versus heretics is up by 10%. Now, this as a religion produces a national tax modifier of plus 10 and an improved relations bonus of plus 15, as well as giving us different features in the religion tab. Right now we have the, uh, the papacy, which we are not taking any advantage of. So to me, both of those should be switched. Uh, right now, Catholics are um, considered the true faith, and the Protestant, Orthodox, and Coptics are considered heretics. Those two will switch, so Protestant will become the true faith, and the other three would be the heretics. And eventually, when reform appears, they become heretic as well. Uh, right now, Catholics have a negative to the tolerance of heretics, and uh, so that's a, that's a downer. It gets people more upset that are not of the true faith. So we'll lose our cardinals. Uh, each active cardinal is giving us yearly papal influence that we don't have any value to, and uh, we could uh, eventually declare ourselves the defender of the Protestant faith, which would be very lethal. So, I think we're going to do that. We're going to take uh, take this opportunity to grab a um, center of reformation. We're going to tank our prestige, grab some cash, and get really awesome missionaries. There it is, 8 to 22 months. Rome itself takes only 22 months to change. That's fantastic. Uh, national decision available uh, because we are now Protestant, so we have different uh, things that we can do. Missionary strength plus one from the act of uniformity. And past dissolution of monastery acts. And that is the lose stability or more expensive stability cost for increased taxes. Well, obviously great. And missionary strength up. So even better seven months to convert now where did the uh, religion form excellent pisa right in the heart of things so we'll start with uh mm, we could start with our distant provinces i think would be best uh but we've got rome in 18 months i think we'll do rome in 18 months because that is going to disappear real quick the option to do that i think negative i think there's a big negative to their because they're Rome, is there not? Yeah, religious center minus 5%. So the best way to trade a, to change a religious center is through having that religious zeal from Reformation. So there we go. We could be the defender of the faith. That's co it would cost us 500 bucks. We get another uh, missionary. Anybody that attacks a Protestant religion country would have us to deal with. Um... Morale of armies boost, morale of navy boost, uh, war exhaustion reduction, yearly prestige boost, and technology cost more. I don't know that we want that, just because if Oldenburg gets attacked right now, or anybody that has the Protestant faith gets attacked, that brings us into a war, which means a lot more opportunity to get sucked into wars we don't want to be part of. And all it's going to do is give us one more missionary, which would help very quickly, very early on, but cost us 500 uh, ducats. And I think what we're going to do instead is go repay all our loans. We are now debt-free. Our prestige is at minus 0 0.01, but we get 2.8 annually. And uh, changing uh, conversions will actually boost our prestige. Not that we'll get a lot of those. But this is the other thing of the Protestant faith. You get these, uh, what are they called, uh, aspects of the church. Uh, we can hold three of them. This is just the button to get it. We can hold three of them. In order to get that, we need church power. Uh, we get point zero, or 0 0.14 each month. Uh, 22 monarch points times 0.1 modified by 93.4% religion, bad religious unity. So we basically get uh, the higher, if we have full high religious unity, we're gonna get a point or so a month. Uh, maybe even more than a point a month. 1.5, two maybe, uh, based on 22 monarch power. So it's bas basically the better leader we have and the higher the religious unity we have, the more church power we gain. We gain church power, we get 100 points, we can buy one of these. Lots of really great things. Development cost a reduction, and you can switch these up too, right? You can build, you can get up to three of them, and then you can later on swap one of them, spend another 100 points to put in the new one, but there's a lot of options here. National unrest, um, production efficiency 10%, national unrest minus one, idea cost minus 5%. Manpower recovery speed plus 10. Global settler increase plus 15, which is nice if you get into colonizing. 
Yearly Republican tradition of 0.1. Uh, that's a nice boost. That's like a 10% increase to the rate, uh, the frequency that basically that we can have great rulers. Uh, prestige increase, morale of armies and navies, discipline bonus, missionary strength bonus, uh, stability cost modifier minus 10%, and development cost. So this is huge, these options. Um, and another be big beast is, oh, look at that. Yes, Catholic, Orthodox, and Coptic. I thought it was just Orthodox. Catholic, Orthodox, and Coptic are considered heretics. And since the uh, religion does not have a negative to heretics, we only, everybody that's not Protestant is a little happier than they would be. Uh, improved relations by 15% will be a constant and increases our tax base. So, yay to all of that. All right, uh, so we have uh, Savoy looking to uh, pay us to suicide our troops against the French. I think we'll pass on that. Thanks, Savoy. Thanks. We'll look at another opportunity for that, maybe. Uh, you know what? I just missed that. That was a good, something we could have done. Uh, it building an option there. Um, we have claims in provinces. Yes, we do. Do we have claims? We have a claim on Venetian territory. I'd really like to get my hands on Venice there, but I think the, uh, uh, the war exhaustion, or not the war exhaustion, the AE is a little, oh, it's all gone. When did that happen? Apparently aggressive expansion is not a thing after the Protestant Reformation. You just go hack people apart after that, okay. Um, we could definitely uh, find ourselves in a decent fight. We could nab this province, that's a truce. Don't, don't do that, Drake. Uh, we could go against these guys. Nobody else is going to would get involved in that Interesting uh, We have uh, another claim we can stay. Oh, not quite it needs to be 30. Wait a second. Do we have claims on both the provinces then? Cremona claim claim. So we have claim on both of the Melanese provinces uh, see what's left of Savoy. We may want to uh, have a spy network going there and nab some provinces there. They're currently at war with Provence and France. Hmm. An opportunity to strike at Naples if France is involved in a war with us. So, can we get France? What do we got for favors with you, France? Are you interested in helping us? Not yet, you're not. Five favors. We need we need another ten years before we can build that up. Uh, so also last episode we took that crazy no CB war against Fazen to try to grab Sirt, but the Ottomans grabbed it first on behalf of Tunis, so we vassalized Fazen. So now we have this uh, friendly little friend down here who is just likely to get us into a lot of trouble. Uh, all right, so we're gonna let things uh, spin by here. We're gonna drop the time. I have uh, had some comments uh, about that, the speed and whatnot, and uh, who is it? Uh, John Stamus uh, says uh, there was some lag issues in the video. I haven't seen them, but maybe it's just because I'm used to playing with it like this. I do have a less than ideal system, and I think in what basically what happens is speed 1, 2, 3, and 4 are a certain, uh, basically, number of ticks before a day passes. Uh, speed 5 is, and they're specifically timed, right? So. Unless your computer is laggy, heavily laggy, speed four is not is always going to be the same. No matter how great of a system you got, it doesn't make faster system doesn't make speed four faster on your computer unless your slow end of your unless your system is actually dragging your speeds down. So say speed two on my computer versus speed two on somebody's awesome computer would be the same days progressed every so often, right? So we go down to uh, we go down to speed two here and we let time run. So it's about every second or so. Conquest of Rome! Yay! Conquest of Rome happened to us because we're no longer Catholic. We get a plus one missionary. Occupation of Rome. We get diplomatic or negative reputation. Well, that's unfortunate. But we have another missionary, so let's use him. Uh, get that out of there. Um, let's go ahead with the longer ones. Uh, Crete is far off, is unlikely to be converted easily. And we'll do Rhodes next after that, I guess. Uh, Rhodes is what's wrong with Rhodes? Oh, you know what? I can't do roads because I recently converted it to Catholic. How long does that zeal last? August of 24. So we got another nine years before we can convert roads. I think that uh, the re zeal reformation wears off by then. Um, where is it? Um, center reformation. 
we'll, we'll see when, when, when something gets converted. But um, So the time, as I was saying, the timer is based on what speed you're on. Okay, now let's up it to three. Watch the dates. It basically doubles it. Super fast, run four. Now, the difference between four and five is substantial. As far as I understand it, when you hit five, the speed doesn't... It, it takes the governors off, basically. So it will keep going as fast as your computer can process it. And maybe that's what I need to do for you guys that are experiencing the lag. Maybe I need to bring down, keep it down at four instead of five. It's not really much faster on my system. Like there's, look at the date up in the corner here. That's, uh, there's always lag at the end of the month, but at least in my system, it is faster, notably faster running on speed five, but uh, maybe it'll be easier for you if I keep it on speed four. Uh, new Pope, new Pope, new uh, leader on the throne of the Ottomans. Lost her claim on Napoli. That's unfortunate. We've lost her claims against Naples as a whole. Um, I, however, have... We have no truce against Tunis. Hmm. Are the Ottomans busy? Would they get involved in this if I had declared war? I bet you your bottom dollar they would. Uh, let's pull that guy back since he's useless and he's also useless. Um, he's, he's useless because we're done and he's useless because he was already discovered. I would like it if this was an option, but the Ottomans will definitely join in, so we can't do anything there. But we're going to have to keep our eyes open again for an opportunity to nab at Tunis. Uh, Fizen owns what for claims? That's all core provinces, and they have a claim there and a claim there. Tripoli would be the first priority, of course. Taking Tripoli would be a big deal for me. Um, and then the other situation... Oh, wrong screen. The other situation is watching for the uh, Ottomans to get themselves upset with something or busy with something so that we can declare war and not have the Mamluks join in. Doobadoo, doo 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 How's Aragon doing with their uh, independence options? 43.1 now percent, just dropped a little. Uh, we could increase our tech. Won't be increasing military tech at that cost though, including the institution penalties for colonialism being at 14% right now. Um, I think we'll just wait for it to happen. We have, uh, there we go, we got this province is a uh, Dragonian, Draganian, Draganian, Draguian, I don't know. That province, next to Nice, Nice, Provence, province, um, <laughs> this province here um, is neighboring sea zone to us, so I think we'll start to get colonialism once, ooh, heretics, I think we'll get start getting colonialism once that, uh, that cracks over there, how close to finishing is it, uh, it's halfway-ish. Another three years it's expected. England taking a bite out of the uh, French uh, Iberian provinces. Where is France at? France is off in in Austria fighting Savoy's troops. <laughs> Interesting. They're going to go raffle stomp them. Conversion successful. Uh, from a center of reformation. Okay. So, something just got converted by the Center of Reformation. Foreign debt of Teutonic Order has been paid for by the the Ottomans. Are the Ottomans at war with... Yes, Poland, Lithuania, and Pomerania. Ouch, buddy. You're in some sort of trouble. Teutonic Order, Riga, and Livonia. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> Sorry, but you're going to get your butt whooped. Um, and yes, of course, because Ottomans hate the Poles... Right? They're, no, they're not actually, uh, they're not actually rivaling the Commonwealth yet. But taking on the debt, that's an interesting move by the Ottomans. We have 115 months left in the Age of Discovery, so these bonuses continue entirely until the end of the Age of Discovery. We'll probably end up getting this last one, which will be totally useless to us. Uh, but then we have the Age of Reformation, which is next. Uh, some of the things like joining the Reformation, which we've already done. Um, we have humanist ideas, I don't remember. Uh, Mooch, way back in uh, like series, episode one, was commenting about this. Um, that humanist ideas, we don't have it yet. That might be one that we do, either religious or humanist ideas. Um, that, yeah, that basically they, uh, humanist ideas give some seriously good uh, idea, um, events 
uh, and I do love the years of separation and the max cu culture. I think that might be the idea cost reduction. I think that might be the way we go. Um, tolerance of heathens. So if we do have like down south, we have um, uh, Muslim territory or over the east, it'll be less negative. So basically, it eliminates the negative uh, for uh, intolerance. Uh, heretics are basically tolerated as good or better than than uh, Protestants would be. So, religious unity bonus, national unrest reduced. There's nothing not great here. Like every single one of these ideas groups is great. So I think we might go with humanist ideas when we reach ten. Uh, the other option I was thinking would be go with religious uh, or economic, but economics a little premature. I think I don't think it's really that vital at this point. Um, we're doing okay economically, and it would just be, you know, development stuff. Uh, monthly autonomy is a nice boost, but we don't have issues with that, really. Uh, Deus Vault is a good one. Permanent cast a spell against neighboring heathens and heretics, which means we could constantly nab wars on a religious war base whenever we wanted to. Um, cultural conversions are fantastic with the 25% reduction there and clergy loyalty so yeah this would be a good one too missionary strength uh, majorly increased in another missionary we could very quickly convert people when we did conquer them um, church power growth is nice yearly prestige growth uh, missionary strength against heretics even more than missionary strength bonus so you're basically at five you can convert anything pretty much on the moment so Religious ideas, maybe. Humanist ideas, maybe. Humanist ideas are better for the European activity, as far as I'm concerned. And religious ideas would be, would be better for us dealing with the Southeast and uh, Southeast Mediterranean. So, uh, I think we're going to put in a cut there, though. It's uh, been mostly just uh, thinking, talking, and planning out the religious changes. So, join the Reformation. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, let's get the fleets back home here and uh, see about uh, unifying things, switching our troops over next episode get them um, converted or moved back over to the point where they are um, doing their job properly so let's protect some trade in um, Genoa and as well hunt pirates in Genoa so we don't deal with the Tunisian piracy that'll be it though for today thank you so much we've uh, we've approached the age of reformation uh, with bold confidence we now have uh, just about finished converting Rome itself to uh, be a Protestant, well, not just about finished, it's 27.4%, and uh, we started uh, having the, the Pisa starting to convert things for us for free. And we have two missionaries, because we hold Rome. Yay! Anyways, that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll be back next time for some more, so tune in next time, and hit that like button if you appreciate uh, how things are going. Let me know what you think of the idea group for the third idea group. Either, basically, I'm thinking either um, religious ideas, or um humanist ideas give me your thoughts on that in the comments below and as always i will see you in game